Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. You all know that we always try to do something adventurous take in all our videos. I'm using the OnePlus 9 RT with the Pixel OS custom ROM which we later converted into the Nothing phone to light. OnePlus 9 RT is now running on the full Nothing OS 2.0 with all Nothing phone to features and look. This is not a custom ROM, it's a custom Nothing GSI 2.0 ported from the newly Nothing phone 2. Remember, this is a generic system image though it has all the Nothing OS features and look but it's in alpha stage so it has lots of bugs. Today in this video, we'll show you how you can install this on any Android device which has Android version about 10 with the dynamic system partition. We have shown what's working in this initial build full features review of Nothing OS 2.0 and at the last we shown the major deal breaking issues of this GSI. We will show you the safest mode of booting this GSI using the DSU side loader without harming and testing the third party OS on your device. If you are new to DSU side loader then please go through all the video links given in the video description. So if you are interested to try this new feel and look of adventure then let's get started. On a new adventure. I am using the OnePlus 9 RT which has ARM64 AB dynamic partition system. This GSI only works on ARM64 AB dynamic partition supported devices. Check it using the Travel Info application if your device has the same partition scheme. You can boot this GSI without root or with the root using the DSU side root application. Please follow the non-root Suzuki method using the another video tutorial. Its link is available in the video description. Download the full GSI file. Next download the JSON file. This is needed if GSI didn't boot on your device. So this is the most important part of the video. This GSI will not boot easily. We have to do some changes. You can try to flash it without doing these changes. But if it's not booted, you must have to follow this with the root access. Download and install this empty manager explorer file. Its link is available under the video description. Open the application, give the root access. When you open the application, on the left you will get the internal storage and on the right you will get the root files of your device. In the root file, search for the vendor. There again search for the etc folder. Keep the path open. Now locate the JSON file in the internal storage on the left side of application. Copy it and just paste. It will automatically get pasted in the mentioned location we opened earlier. Here you can see the green text JSON file in the root files of the device. Exit the application now. Now open the DSU side loader. Here you can check I am using the root method to boot the GSI. You can follow non-root method also. In the application tap install, then locate the GSI file, tap user data toggle, there select the desired user data size, then tap proceed. If you have any pin or fingerprint on your device, accept the prompt to unlock. DSU side loader will start the installation. Once done, you will get the restart or discard option in the notification panel. Tap restart. That's it. Phone will start to boot into the new Nothing OS 2.0. New Nothing OS 2.0 has the new amazing setup screen. Just complete the full setup. Remember, we are booting this on the different device which has hardware limitations of Glyphlite. So this will be just preview of Nothing OS 2.0 on non-Nothing Phone to make them Nothing Phone 2 Lite. Similar experiment we did last time for OnePlus Nord 2 which is converted into Nothing Phone 1 Lite. You can check that video from the video description. So phone booted to amazing Nothing OS 2.0. If you check the new UI of this GSI, it's exactly same as Nothing Phone 2. In the about phone, we get the OS version at the top of the panel. It's nothing OS 2.0.1 and build number is as Nippon GSI ported using the Irfan GSI tool. While other things are same like our hardware specifications like processor, camera, etc. If you ask what's working, then all the basic functions are working like Wi-Fi with the proper network connection. Bluetooth is working, it's connecting with the Bluetooth earbuds with the sound. Wi-Fi hotspot, night light, automatic brightness, all are working fine. ROM supports the standalone 5G network, 4G VLT incoming and outgoing calls are also working fine. But the call recording is buggy, it's not working. Video playback with the audio in the both the speakers and Bluetooth devices is also fine. But there are some major bugs that we will discuss under the bug section of this video, so watch this video till the end. 
Now let's check out the features and overall look of Nothing OS 2.0. Everything is available here like new QS panel of Nothing OS 2.0, new volume panel, new settings panel of Nothing Phone 2 with the complete details of device with this new Nothing OS 2.0 look. ROM as the new Nothing OS launcher 2.0. All the new Nothing Phone 2 wallpapers are available here under the wallpapers and style setting. All these wallpapers are high quality and crafted by Nothing team. ROM comes with all the new launcher features like new apps folder customizations, all new Nothing services card widgets like this new Nothing OS analog clock. In the customization section of launcher you get the fully working new Nothing OS 2.0 icon packs with the wallpaper based remote theming. In the settings and under the lock screen option, you get the new lock screen widgets for lock screen. Here you can able to add multiple clock weather widgets. Some other toggles like single tap to wake the device, add text on the lock screen, always on display. These are working absolutely fine, which not even worked on my last nothing was 2.0 Magix model video. These new widgets on the always on display are looking very nice. Only leave the phone to show the lock screen feature is not working here. Now let's check out the Nothing Phone exclusive Glyph features are working or not. Under the Glyph interface we get same new look of Glyph interface from the Nothing Phone 2. But most of the things are buggy here like Glyph ringtone and notification sound setting are completely blank. There are no any ringtones or preview of ringtones is available here, which was seems working on the old Nothing JSI we tested. But these are of no use because except the Nothing Phone, other devices didn't have hardware Glyph lights. Similarly, flip to Glyph, Glyph Timer, Volume Level Indicator, Google Assistant and Battery Indicator for Glyph, Nothing Glyph Ringtone Composer, all these things will use less on the OnePlus 9RT. They will not work. But I will try soon this on Nothing Phone 1. There we will see if these features will work or not. So stay tuned for another video too. Under experimental feature who gets option connect to Tesla, unfortunately I didn't have the Tesla car so I can't guarantee it is working or not. These are some new things I found but now I will show you some major issues of this GSI because it is in the alpha stage. When device boots back it will give the continuous pop up notification regarding your device is not certified. So we can't able to use the Google applications or play store for now because you can't able to add the Google account. There is trick also available to solve this issue but for now it's not working. But we can pause the notification of this pop up by long pressing the notification and toggling off the notification for all the Google Play services. Next annoying bug is for IMEI. Your device IMEI will be continuously visible at the left bottom corner in the all the applications or anywhere in the device. Storage and apps option in the setting are causing the force close. So they are not accessible for now. In the security setting, face unlock setting is available but ROM didn't come with the nothing OS camera so you didn't get the camera access for face setup. So it's not working. Even no fingerprint setting is available here. All the glib bugs we already shown you. I think storage is unaccessible in the JSA that's why you can't able to download any applications within the Chrome browser. Some applications like file manager messaging are not working and they are force closing. Next bug is for NFC, it is not working. Weather application is available in the app drawer but it's not able to access the internet. It will continuously show the error like can't able to access the internet. These bugs are really annoying and deal breaking. But DSU side loader is an innovative way to try such JSI as a dual boot with your original primary ROM. So to boot back to original stock OS, just tap restart from the notification or force reboot your device using the power button. It will boot back to the original OS like here I booted back to Pixel OS. Anytime you can boot back to nothing OS by restarting your device. But every time this JSI will boot with the initial setup which is also annoying issue for now. But soon developers of Nippon and team will release the new update with the new fixes. So for now you can test this ROM temporarily for its first look. New nothing OS 2.0 is really very impressive in terms of customization and user interface look. So definitely I recommend you if your device has the same partition scheme like my device then give at least one try for this new GSI to convert your device into new nothing phone to light. That's it for today guys hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel for notifications of new adventures like we did today. Thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye.